We just completed the first step in learning to add and subtract integers. There were two rules for the signs. The sign is always on the left and we never ever ignore negatives. Let's go on to the second and third steps. The second step we draw two boxes and above the one box we write a negative and above the second box we write a positive. Now be sure that you put the signs above the boxes. Do not put the signs inside the boxes. Let's look at the problem. Negative 5 plus 3. From our first step we learned that this can also be written as 3 minus 5. In both of these expressions the the 5 is negative and the 3 is positive. So they both mean the same thing. The 5 is negative, so we will write a 5 in the negative box. The 3 is positive, we will write a 3 in the positive box. Now let's do the two questions for determining the answer. The first question is, which box has more. You must say either the positive box or the negative box. Don't say 5 or 3. When I ask for which box has more, be sure that you say positive or negative. The second question is how much more? If we look at this problem, we see that the negative box has more in it. How much more does it have than the positive box? It has two more. So the answer to this, these two expressions is negative two. Negative five plus three, or three minus five, is equal to negative two. Negative two minus four. Draw your two boxes. Be sure you put a negative of one above one and a positive above the other. Now look at your numbers. The two has a sign on the left that's a negative. The two is negative. Write it two in the negative box. But the four also has a negative on its left, so it too is negative. It will also go in the negative box. Now then, the two questions. Remember, which box has more? Well, if we look at this, there's none in the positive box. So obviously, the negative box has more. How much more does it have? Well, again, there's nothing in the positive box. The negative box has six more. So the answer to our expression, negative two minus four, is negative six. All right, let's try another. Let's take a positive 2 and a negative 14. All right, draw your boxes. Place your numbers in the correct box. The 2 is positive. It does not have a sign on its left, so that means it's positive goes in the positive box. The 14 has a negative on its left side, so remember that means the 14 is negative. So we will put the 14 in the negative box. Now ask yourself the two questions. Here they are written down here again. Which box has more? In this problem, the negative box has more again. Which, how much more does it have? Well, it has 12 more than the positive box. 12 more than the positive box. So our answer is a negative 12. Let's try one more. Let's take negative 8 and add or put a plus 12. All right, draw your two boxes.
and now look at your numbers. The 8 is a negative, it will go in the negative box. The 12 is positive, so it will go in the positive box. Now ask yourself the two questions. Which box has more? In this problem, the positive box has more. How much more does it have? It has four more than the negative box. So our answer is positive four. We just worked three problems using the boxes. Negative two minus four is a negative six. Two minus fourteen is a negative twelve. And a negative eight plus twelve is four, a positive four. But expressions where you would have the same amount in each of the boxes. Negative three plus three. If you draw your boxes for this expression, you will obviously see that we're going to have a three in the negative and then a three in the positive box. What is our answer when one box doesn't have more than the other? Well, the answer to these type problems is always zero. So if you have the same amount in the negative box as you do in the positive box, just remember the answer is zero. And also, if I rewrite this expression, I put the three, positive three first, and then I write the negative three, you will recognize this as one of the first grade problems that you learned quite some time ago. Three minus three, or three take away three, is zero. Now let's, let's look at some problems that have the double signs. Let's take a two and then a negative, negative five. Now remember a double negative, a double negative is the same as the opposite of a negative the opposite of a negative five is a positive five. So in these problems, we always have to rewrite them before we use the boxes. Anytime you have the double signs. So two plus five, oh, that's a first grade problem. Without the boxes, we know that that is seven. Let's look at the problem now of negative eight, plus negative seven. Now in this problem we again have double signs, but there's a plus here and then a negative. And remember I asked, told you that you could sometimes ignore positive signs. So in this problem we will rewrite it as a negative eight minus a seven. Now remember we're ignoring the plus, and when you do that you can drop the parenthesis. Now then, you're ready to use the boxes. The eight goes in the negative box, and so does the seven. They're both negative numbers now. The two questions, which box has more? Obviously, the negative box has more. How much more does it have? It has 15 more. The sign of a number, remember, is always on its left. If you have double signs, you always need to change them. Rewrite them to one sign before you use the boxes. Let's work one last problem. Let's take a negative eight and a negative, negative 10. Can you work that problem? You have a double negative, do you see it? So we must rewrite this problem. It becomes negative eight plus 10. Now use your boxes. I'm running out of room. Perhaps you can do it yourself. You should see that we will get a positive two. We have more positives than we have negatives. I hope knowing these three steps helps you to learn how to add and subtract integers. You can always find me on the internet www.mathinabox.com. Susan Johnsey. Thank you.